welcome back to another video. Um, so today we'll be doing a dragon drawing challenge. Um, you've seen that on the title probably. But um, so pretty much we are going to be rolling a dice to see um, what sort of dragon species I guess I would be doing according to this dragon world. This person right here, yeah. This this dude, William Mokata. Now he's a pretty good drawer. I don't know if he uses computer or normal artwork, but whatever it is, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna be drawing these dragons based off of his artwork, and he's pretty cool, so uh, let's just get started. So um, on my list, you probably can't read it because of the terrible um, writing, because, you know, that's how life goes. But um, yeah, we have a few different options because um, we had one dice, and uh, my mom's unconfident with certain dragons. But yeah, she's gonna be she's gonna be on the smaller one. I'm gonna be on the bigger one for some odd reason. So um, I'm gonna have her roll first. Mom, you go first. Oh boy, let's hope for something good that I can do. Okay, you got six, so you can do a great dragon or a dragonette. Okay, I don't know yet. Okay. So um, which one are you gonna? I think you just pick with me, don't you? No, no, how no. How are we gonna share the book? <laughs> I'll get. A, I'll just like have a picture of it in my head. Okay. I'm All gonna right. Do. Five. That is Ampha. <laughs> or the Arctic dragon. I'm gonna go with the Ampha. Ampha something. That's th so pretty much. I'll show you these different types of dragons. Um, I don't know exactly how to say that, but so pretty much just just a snake dragon with wings. And the great dragon is just pretty much a normal dragon, like smog or something. And the dragonette just kind of looks like a chicken dragon, if that makes any sense. Yeah, what did you pick? Um, I have to pick a great dragon. Yeah, you can do a great dragon. And she's going to be basing hers off a picture. I'm just going to use it from my head.
finished our um, dragons. Um, sorry about the tail here. It's kind of turned into a mess. That's okay. And the foot looks kind of bizarrely like a human hand. A little like a, <laughs> like a weird human hand. I do like the stoicness of him. Like he seems like flying part. So like this whole part here I like. The rest of that I don't know. <laughs> okay. Mine, give me your synopsis. Mine is an excited boy. Um, at first I was trying to make him look like an Egyptian uh, something, and uh, I don't know how that turned out. And then I decided to make him look like something else. I don't know how to describe it, but kind of looks like a sunflower. <laughs> um, I gave him an earring for no apparent reason also. Um, I also wrote earring with two E's by accident. <laughs> 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 Earring. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we might or might not make a part two. We also might make a um, wand challenge. Um, like we actually make wands out of polymer clay with um, chopsticks. So, um, if you guys want to see that, comment down below what other sort of art challenges we could do. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you're still watching at this moment, the end credits part. And you are a loyal subscriber. Um, goodbye, kiddos and adults if you don't judge.